German 6th SS Mountain Division Nord. In military history, the Waffen SS is considered an elite by definition. Although many admit that recruiting standards were lower during the war and the divisions raised from 1944 onwards were of lower stock, there is a persistent view that the early Waffen SS units were crack troops. In this episode of Military Combat Elite Units, I would like to delve into a lesser well known unit of these early divisions, the 6th SS Division Nord. The Division Nord has its origins in the SS Totenkopfverbände, or in English, Death Head Units. These units are infamous because they were the main source of supply of concentration camp guards. But the scope of these units was wider. They were a kind of militarized police force, which were not under the command of the civil government, but of the National Socialist Party. The Waffen SS was created in 1934 as a pure military force. Although some Waffen SS commanders, like Paul Hauser and Felix Steiner, who came to the Waffen SS as professional soldiers, have tried to downplay the role of the death head units, a lot of personnel and officers of the Waffen SS came from those units. This was not limited to the infamous Death Heads Division, but was also true for the Mountain Division Nord. In February 1941, two Death Heads units stationed in Norway formed the basis of a brigade sized unit of the Waffen SS, which became the nucleus of Division Nord. This brigade sized unit was originally not a mountain unit, but was simply known as Kampgruppe Nord, in English Battle Group North. When Germany invaded the Soviet Union a couple of months later, in June 1941, this unit was deemed fit enough to fight in the northern regions of Finland to cut the strategic railway to Murmansk. The inexperienced battle group did not manage to break through the Russian lines and was even beaten back in disarray by a Russian counterattack. The command and control completely broke down and the brigade suffered hundreds of casualties. The baptism of fire ended in a bloody failure. Despite its dismal performance, the battle group continued to be expanded to division size during the summer of 1941. After the German advance to the Murmansk railway was finally halted in September 1941, Division Nord did not engage in any large-scale offensives until 1945 when it was transferred to the Western Front. The war on the Finnish and Norwegian Front became static for most of the war. This meant patrolling and raiding was the most common action of the division, in other words, small unit operations. In January 1942, the division was renamed SS Mountain Division Nord. This designation, however, was purely honorific at this stage because there is no evidence the personnel of Nord went through any formal mountaineering training. And there was also no need, as the northern Arctic region of Finland offered no opportunities for mountain climbing. The division became, however, a hardened unit in the unforgiving Arctic environment and the occasional bloody clashes with the Red Army. In October 1943, the division was designated as the 6th division in the Waffen-SS. But this meant no significant change. Nothing exciting really happened in the unit's history until September 1944, when Finland signed an armistice with the Soviet Union. Under the conditions of this armistice, the German army had to evacuate Finland, including the Nord Division. The division was subsequently moved to the Western Front, but it was too late to participate in the Ardennes Offensive in December 1944. Division Nord was at that stage of the war an experienced, full-strength division with around 15,000 men in December 1944. The static warfare in the Arctic had preserved its strength, gave the men valuable combat experience and the stamina to endure hardship in extreme weather conditions. When North arrived on the Western Front in the harsh winter of 1944-1945, it had the perfect profile for an assault division in the upcoming offensive in Alsace, Operation 
Northwind. Operation Northwind is a largely forgotten offensive in January 1945 and was aimed at American troops in the northern Alsace, which were overstretched because Patton moved his army against the German bulge in the Ardennes. In January 1945, Division North battered with 11 other divisions for three weeks against American lines, which bent but did not break. The offensive totally exhausted the German units involved, and when the Americans resumed the offensive in the Saar region in March 1945, the depleted North Division could not do much to stem the tide. After a brief defense on the Rhine, the division ended up behind the rapidly advancing American forces. There it disturbed American supply lines until its remnants were shattered in the beginning of April 1945. Despite its status as an early Waffen-SS unit, Nord did not live up to its expectations as an elite combat unit. It was beefed up as a division, but ultimately a mountain division in name only. When Nord arrived on the Western Front in December 1944, it was considered an asset because of the sorry state of the bulk of the German armed forces. The division was one of the driving forces behind Operation Northwind in January 1945, but it did not manage to break through the American lines just as it failed to do against the Russian lines four years earlier. In other words, it was not an elite unit.